Mom and Dad don't give me enough time. You know, we've had this new system for three weeks, and you've run out of weekly screen time, hmm, all three times. I wish I could sell you some of my time. I know, you haven't gone over once. <laughs> Guess someone's gonna have to pick up a dreaded book. You know I don't mind reading, but after going over on screen time the last two weeks, I need something new to read. I'll let you borrow something of mine. Thanks, but I'm not in the mood for your nonfiction stuff. I need a good story. You should read something from Dad's Mark Twain collection. Who's Mark Twain? <laughs> Just the father of American literature. I can't wait to read his two classic novels, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, once I'm old enough. Have I heard of those books? Probably. They're super famous, and one's the sequel of the other. Two adventure tales set along the Mississippi River in the American South during the time before the Civil War. You're a good reader. Why aren't you old enough now? Dad says different books are good for different ages, and that I need to be more like your age to get the themes. And apparently some of the language is pretty shocking. Hmm, interesting. But those books are old, so I doubt I'd get much out of them. I bet Tom and Huck can persuade you to read their books. What do you mean? I'll use some of my screen time with the History app. Hand me your phone. Their stories were written a long time ago and are about an even older time in America. Even though they're fiction, let's see if we can find Tom and Huck. Okay. Can you steer her over to the left? I need to see that big island. That might have some treasure. Why again do we need more treasure? We're already rich as Egyptian pharaoh. Because we're pirates, Huck. How many? Holy moly! Hi, are you Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn? Well, I'll be. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm Huck and that thar's- Tom Sawyer, captain of this here pirate ship. And who are the likes of you, sneaking up on us with magic and sorcery? Pirate ship, huh? I'm Layla, and this is my little brother, Leo. We have a time machine app on our phone, and we've come from the future to talk to you two. Goodness, I've always dreamed of time traveling. How about y'all take us back to see Knights of the Round Table, or Genghis Khan and the mighty Mongols? Tom, they said they're here to talk to us. Reckon they need some information, not travel company. Thank you, Huckleberry. Yeah, the books about you guys are really old, and we want to know why so many people in our time still read them, and why people like our dad love them. No offense, but what's the big deal? What's the big deal? My and Huck books are action-packed adventures, where we take down bad guys, save innocent men, navigate the mighty Mississippi River, and find real-life treasure. Not to mention, I play some hilarious pranks, and even get engaged a few times. He's been engaged? Yes, I'm two different girls at that. Say, you're awful purdy. Wanna be number three? <laughs> no. Was worth a shot. Don't tell Becky I asked her, Huck. I won't. Okay, so your books are full of crazy adventures, and, well, I suppose you're both charming. Even you, Tom. But why aren't your books appropriate for my brother to read? Yeah, I love adventure books and read them all the time. But our dad doesn't want me to read the books about you two until I'm Layla's age. Well, huh, I don't know. Me and Huck are great role models. I'm the best fighter in all St. Petersburg. And Huck knows how to live on his own. A and he can even smoke a pipe. Nah, Tom. I reckon I understand our pappy wanting Leo to be a bit older. You do? Yes, I'm. Even though you sure do a lot of funny hijinks. And our wild adventures are entertaining. There's a lot of serious stuff in our books, too. Mr. Twain wrote our stories to be much more than entertaining. He wrote them to teach lessons, too. That's Mark Twain, right? The father of American literature? <laughs> You're so knowledgeable, Layla. Mm-hmm. Mark Twain. And you see, me and Tom are based on Mr. Twain's life growing up during the 1840s on the Big River in small town Missouri. We're like a mixture of him and his childhood friends. And through our books, he shows readers what it was really like to live during that time in America. What lessons was Mark Twain trying to teach? Well, you see, Mr. Twain grew up in the time of slavery, but he always hated it and thought it was evil and stupid. In my book, before old Tom shows up to kind of save the day, but also really get us into a bunch of trouble. I go on a crazy adventure with my other best friend, Jim. He's escaped slave. And on our journey, Mr. Twain shows through the book's characters and dialogue how bad and dumb it is to think lesser your fellow man. Leo told me the language in your books is pretty shocking for people in our time. Maybe Mark Twain should have used safer language? No way, listen. People were just as shocked when Mr. Twain wrote the books in the 1880s as they are in your time. Unlike most writers from his day, Mr. Twain didn't fancy up his words none. He chose to write just the same way folks actually talked during his childhood. Nice words and nasty ones alike. 
readers can feel like they're really living in our time. And they can get a realistic picture of American history, the good and the bad. For my book, he even made me the narrator. So you get to even know my thoughts and get exposure into the mind battles I have with difficult decisions. Mind battles? Like what? Well, you know, when and where Tom and me are from, most people think slavery is just fine and the right way to do things. Even people we really like and the people who raised us up. Really? Yep. So I thought slavery was just the normal way of living, because that's all I'd ever known. But then I really get to know Jim and see what a wonderful person he is. And see how even though he's got less education than even me, he's much smarter than most racist folk. That's really cool. So we get to follow along with your thoughts about slavery and racism? Yes, um, and some other issues from our time, like tough family situations and violence, things that aren't nice for the ears of youngins, but that are a real part of our history as characters and a country. You guys don't have easy childhoods. Nope. Tom is an orphan. I'm usually homeless. We've dealt with some criminals, and the American South during our books is a downright racist society that forces kids like us into deciding on things we'd been taught was right, but we just knew deep down was wrong. Huck's right. Thanks to how Mr. Twain wrote our books, readers get to see an honest and accurate picture of our time and place, and they can compare it to theirs. Huh, I guess our books are more than just good adventures. Someday, when Leo reads our books, he'll be able to see how life as a boy was probably really different in our time, but probably kind of the same too. And I think any American can read them and do some comparing and contrasting to when they live, especially relating to racism and freedom. Shoot, you ought to read them too, Layla. You can learn a lot. Maybe even then you'll want to time travel back and reconsider that engagement offer. Um, I doubt that, but I do really want to read your books now, guys. I want to find out about all your tricks, Tom, and I want to know your perspective on more serious things, Huckleberry. You're lucky. I have to wait a few years, but I do understand why now. Thanks for talking to us, guys. Yeah, thanks. It was really nice meeting you both. Bye, y'all. Nice meeting you, too. Safe travels. Back to the treasure hunt, fellow pirate. Arrgh! <laughs> oh, no. First time. Layla, I'm out of screen time. I wish I could sell you some of mine. I've been reading so much, I have tons of hours left. Did you finish the first Mark Twain book? Tom Sawyer, yeah. It was really funny and a little scary. Tom was right, it's a great adventure story. Now I'm on Huck Finn and just met the escaped slave Jim. I hate thinking about how there really were people like him in our country who were treated so badly. Does it make you not want to read it? No, it's not fun to read about bad things, but it helps me understand history better, especially reading about how another kid experienced it. I heard you reading some with Dad. Yeah, and we talk whenever I finish a chapter. These books are so good, but they're pretty intense, so I'm glad I get to talk about them with Dad. Do the books ever make you wish you lived back then with Tom and Huck? No way. Those guys have really exciting lives and tons of fun, but I like living in America today. Our country has come a long way, and I'm happy to live in it nowadays. If you want to time travel with Leo and Layla again, go on and get to PragerU.com kids and watch more of their adventures. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.